Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I'm also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I will be discussing colonic polyp. Colonic polyp is an extremely common problem. When adult population is studied, it is found that up to 50% of patients who undergo colonoscopy carry at least one or more colonic polyp in the colon. The important thing about colonic polyp is that even though it is not a can cancer, it can grow and eventually become a cancer over time. Therefore, most colonic polyps are removed when they are found during colonoscopy. Most patients with colonic polyp do not have any symptoms. It is extremely rare to have any symptoms associated with colonic polyp. When symptoms do appear, they are usually bleeding from a large polyp, sometimes diarrhea, and constipation. The risk factors associated with colonic polyps include older age, age greater than 50, family history of colonic polyps, and colon cancer, smoking, and obesity. Not all colonic polyps do become colon cancer. In fact, there are two main types of colonic polyps that are usually found during colonoscopy. They are hypoplastic polyp and adenomatous polyp. Hypoplastic polyp usually do not have any risk associated with malignant potential. On the other hand, adenomatous polyp, which comprise up to 75 percent of all polyps removed during colonoscopy, adenomatous polyp can and do grow to become colon cancer. These need to be removed. Colon polyp is an extremely common problem that occur in all the age population and often in patients with family history, patients who smoke, and people who are obese. But not all patients have these risk factors. Therefore, it is recommended that anyone over the age of 50 undergo routine colon cancer screening with colonoscopy. When found, polyps are advised to be removed and patients with colonic polyps should undergo regular periodic colonic surveillance to make sure that they do not recur or colon cancer do not develop. Thank you for listening.